We all love a good pet. From dogs to cats and other animals, many want a piece of nature in their own homes. This is no exception for pet fish. In fact, 10% of households in the United States have aquariums. However, this does increase the problem of releasing domestic fish into the wild. Pet owners may turn towards releasing their fish into the wild due to a few reasons. Either the fish has outgrown their tank, they have lost interest in the hobby, or can't commit to it. Although it may seem romantic, it is never a good, and good idea to release your pet fish into wild lakes or rivers. You may think that releasing a pet fish into the wild will make that fish happy because it's now got plenty of space to swim and live. Sadly, this is completely untrue. Most pet fish come from Central, South America, Africa, and Southeast Asia. They have adapted to the environments in those places, but once introduced to a new environment, some fish may find it hard to survive. Moreover, your fish is probably used to being fed and taken care of, so it will likely be unable to find food on their own. Releasing pet fish is considered animal cruelty, and it is an offense under the Animal Welfare Act of 2006. However, some fish are more resilient than others and do manage to survive in new environments. If the fish are able to survive, they can wreak havoc on the native ecosystem. The fish may infect the waters with previously unseen diseases and parasites. The populations might be hard to control because they may lack natural predators. And because of this, the fish will multiply and take up more food from the ecosystem, thus unbalancing the food chain. A way a pet fish could damage an ecosystem is through algal blooms. An algal bloom is a rapid increase of algae in an aquatic ecosystem. As the population of the fish increases, so does their feces. Now, feces encourage the growth of algae. As more algae grows, more dies as well. With the rapid increase of dead algae, bacteria take the opportunity to grow and increase. However, they may also take up more dissolved ox oxygen in the water. With less oxygen than usual in the water, many fish and plant species may find it harder to survive. One such fish that is extremely resilient is the goldfish, a common low maintenance beginner fish. It turns out goldfish are a very hardy animal. One such case takes place in Alberta, Canada. 40 goldfish were put out of a stormwater pond there. Goldfish feces encourage algal blooms which can lead to ecosystem problems later down the line. Keep in mind, goldfish are tropical fishes, and Alberta is not exactly tropical. In fact, it can get quite cold there. The fact that these fish are surviving in extreme temperatures shows just how hard it will be to control the released pet fish, and it also emphasizes the point that prevention is always better. So say you have a pet fish, but you don't want to keep it anymore. There are a few better options to consider. You could try rehoming the fish, returning it to the pet store, or giving it to a friend or some possible solutions. Keep in mind, if you do give it to someone, make sure this person is capable and is going to commit to fish keeping. Finally, there's always euthanization. This can be done by putting the fish into a container with water, then putting that container into a freezer. Cold temperatures are a natural anesthetic for the fish, so they feel no pain in the process. However, all this can be avoided in the first place. Just like with cats and dogs, keeping a fish means committing to taking care of it for the rest of its life. Understand what your fish needs to thrive. Make sure your tank is big enough and the water conditions are just right for your fish. Find out which species of fish are compatible and which are not. Do your research and know what you're dealing with before you decide to take the plunge. Hey there, I'm Paxan, the creator of the Fish Issues YouTube channel. And I would like to personally thank you for watching this Fish Issues video. I really appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed the video and learned something meaningful from it today. If you did, be sure to give me a like, comment, and share this video with your friends. If you'd like to learn more about environmental issues relating to fish, please take a visit to my YouTube channel or hit the big yellow subscribe button down below for more videos. My work cited can be found in the description, as always. Alright, see you next time! This is Pac signing out.